Welcome back to Planting Seeds. I'm Stephanie Pemberton, founder of Planting Seeds Caribbean, an entrepreneurship development program aimed at developing entrepreneurs and connecting them with investors who may or may not invest in their company on the show. Sintra Kusal joins the Planting Seeds Investor Panel as the Director of Kusal's Construction. The Kusal's name has been an active ingredient in quality construction products and services in Trinidad and Tobago for over 60 years. Mikhail Mohammed is the Director and Chief Executive Officer at SM Jalil & Company Limited, a global beverage manufacturer with headquarters in Trinidad and Tobago. He aims to help local manufacturers take their product to the world by leveraging SM Jalil's existing global infrastructure. Imtiaz Ahmed serves as Chief Executive Officer at Southern Sales and Service Company Limited. Mr. Ahmed has been a non-executive director of Guardian Holdings Limited since 2004 and has a keen interest in the development of entrepreneurs through capital investment and mentorship. Ronald Carter is the Chief Executive Officer of GMMB Investments Trinidad and Tobago. Ronald is a career financial services and investment management professional whose experience spans 20 years across the Caribbean and the United States. He has had several senior positions with a number of top-tier global financial institutions and successfully led businesses in wealth and investment management, capital markets and corporate banking. Hello investors, I am Karen Bascom and I have a video presentation for you today. We are Tech for Agri, a social enterprise using media, journalism, and communications to support stakeholders in the agri sector. We offer services in social media support, content generation, native advertising, and development training. For the CIC 2018, we introduced Tech for Agri 360 Immersive. Tech for Agri 360 is a docu-series that transfers knowledge through in-video learning. The series will center on the real-life interactions around food, agriculture, people, technology, and innovation in the Caribbean, all set within an immersive environment. It will see the use of 360 video, drone journalism, live video, agri-photography, and audio formats to create Tech for Agri 360 experience. So as you can see investors, we had a very positive feedback with our product. What you saw there was a simulated version and our hope is to build on what Tech for Agri has created over the last six years. We have built a very well-connected and strong local, regional and international network given our nature in media and journalism. We are one of the few startups doing this type of work in the world and probably the only one in the Caribbean that has that focus in agriculture and agro-allied areas, such as the environment and climate change. Therefore, we are asking for your partnership to build this project into a business and to enter the video on demand market, which is valued at over $3 billion in the future. So we would need approximately 5,000 US to begin getting the equipment and then to start pre-production for the first season of the series. We will also need investment in terms of getting one of our intended revenue streams, which is what you saw in the video, the Google Cardboard Box. It's recycled cardboard that's used to view the videos on your mobile device. So our intention is to rebrand it as Tech for Agri 360 and have that being sold for ourselves. <clears throat> what made you decide to do this, this in particular, in terms of agriculture, food, and you know, that, that sort of niche? Well, I discovered that if I don't eat, I'm going to die. That's simple, everything's gonna to happen to <laughs> everyone <discovered> here. <laughs> you you know? If we don't eat, we're going to die. But people need to understand that media influences our decisions. So we are in the media aspect to influence people. Hey, eat local, hey, this is safe, food to eat. We want to share the information and solve that problem of communication channels that our sector experiences. How do you get onto video on demand right. and what's the revenue? Cost associated and yeah. revenue associated. How do you do that? All right, so Facebook and YouTube, they are making major changes right now in terms of how do creators make their money. So with respect to the revenue streams, 
for the different various platforms. I do not know exactly. The only one, the few that we've researched are still creating the uh, programs where you can see where a creator can come in and f sign up and get their things organized. Um, for one of them, Steam, which is based on blockchain, creators get 40% of what they produce. Kiran, you told us that the Tech 360 is in a unique space mm -hmm. with little competition. Mm -hmm. So drill down on, on the assumption that you got this 5,000 investment. How are you going to use the money and what the investor is going to get in return? So we will definitely be creating our, our content. If not as much as we can, we, we will aim in for a full season. But we will definitely use this to get the equipment and make sure we produce something that we can now go and test on these platforms to make sure that we have that viewership out there and see where it goes from. We'll be right back with the investors' final decisions. As you can see, at very exciting things, there is a world of creative possibilities when it comes to promoting your brand to your customers. And they sure do come in handy, whether you're at the beach to catch some waves or soaking up some sweet island sun, very exciting things has promotional items galore. So if you're looking for coverage, or even more coverage, Very Exciting Things has everything you're looking for to keep your business in mind. Whether your customers are on the go, or planning their busy weekday. So take notes. Very Exciting Things is simply convenient. Simply exciting, simply the best. Mobile's hosted PBX system provides unique business solutions that can be tailored to virtually any business. Not only does the system improve connectivity with external clients seeking to make bookings, but it also functions as an internal line so that you can run your business from virtually anywhere. Hosted PBX feeds your appetite for expansion and growth and connects all of your locations efficiently to facilitate the growth and expansion of your business. is a better way. There is a better way with JMMB Express Finance. Apply now for loans up to TT $40,000. JMMB Express Finance, in your world. I'm excited about Trinidad and Tobago being projected. I mean, mm -hmm. I know you have a global vision, but I think we have to start with us mm -hmm. as you know, global vision. We have so much to offer mm -hmm. in our twin islands. It's, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. For me, there are a lot of loopholes still mm -hmm. that, you know, I think that need to be filled in. Mm -hmm. You know, let's improve on that and let's go Trinidad and Tobago. So as I said, very mm -hmm. exciting, <laughs> very exciting. <laughs> Kieran, absolutely love the, the, the knowledge and that, that you've displayed. It, I said it's a critical sector. For us, what I would do is I would offer the help of helping you build out the business plan because I think one of the key areas that I would want to see from a banking perspective is a clear revenue projection and how do you get there. And secondly, scaling. How can we speak to generating revenue on a more immediate basis? So specifics around how do we generate revenue and that timeline. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And I would like to add that investors look for a couple different significant points. So I'll start with one that we are picking up on clearly from you. 
the energy and the passion. However, we would like to see a feasibility study or some sort of pilot project that can support the feasibility study and then form part of the business plan. So I've given my commitment to you that if we can work together, I will help support the pilot project feasibility study. Thank you very that much. That will kick you off. Thank you very much, investors. I appreciate it. All right. All Thank best. you. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Here's an example of a company that's trying to take agriculture to a different step. However, I'm not too sure what is the revenue generating business model. And I think that's a concern the investors has as well. I think you need to be a little clearer of what you're trying to achieve. Two, what I'm really thinking, this is really more social entrepreneurship, but it is definitely needed. My advice to you, there are many grants out there that come from different countries, from different organizations. I think you have something that grants would really be interested in. So don't get disappointed, go out there and find a grant. Hi, O.C. Phillips is the name, and I'm here to pitch to you my idea for my transport solutions. The goal behind this solution is a software platform. It will be based as software as a service. There's nothing physical, no hardware on your premises, and this is to help businesses aid, with the aid of supply chain throughout the Caribbean and by extension the world. Just to paint a clearer picture here, think of it like this. You go on, you order one, two, three visas, but instead of you just seeing one price that says $200, you see a list of options where you could ship how you feel to ship it, how long you take to ship it, or you could consolidate it, you could wait, you could ship it from whether Japan to Panama, and then from Panama you could decide if you want to use the same shipper to come through the Caribbean, or one from Panama to Jamaica, one from Jamaica to Trinidad. All depending on your time frame, all that would not affect your business, all on one single platform. This platform that I'm building, or aim to build, it helps with shipping software, tracking software, it does order consolidations, it also does reporting data analytics. So it's one, a one-stop shop in terms of a customer relationship management software. What I'm asking for is 50,000 US dollars for 20% of this venture. This venture will be a sub-venture of a parent company. First of all, you mentioned a parent company. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Because you said this is, a, this is part of a parent company. Explain a little bit more what you're referring to. My parent, or well, the company that I'm calling a parent company, I do other, the other aspect of it. I develop technologies for some companies, develop software, build e-commerce websites, and I do work like that. So what's, it, what's the name of that parent company? That's, that's the name of it. The name of it is still Unified Technologies. That's the name of it. This would be either a subsidiary or I may change the name depending on how this aspect goes on. So, so are we talking more like a, sorry, are we talk more like a, like an Expedia for, that's exactly for, like it. for, for that's exactly yeah, are, you familiar with, right? are you familiar with like Oracle and Salesforce and all yes. these other yes. CRMs? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Well, mine is just tailored a CRM but for supply chain through the Caribbean. So Osi, I think you what maybe what you need to do is to is to go is to outline what's kind of the step. So how are you going to get from here to making money? Well, part and in answering the question, you could factor in some timelines in the various stages. All right. So uh, structured partnerships for the parent company right now. Most of the work that I'm doing, I've outsourced it in terms of I have companies that I've partnered with out of India, China, Cuba. The good thing about it is the time frame that you are asking about for a rollout, they could bill it, they could bill all the parts of it simultaneously because it's one platform that would have a shipping software, a tracking software, reporting analytics. They could bill it simultaneously or they could bill it one by one. That would take a longer period of time. Ideally, the entire thing would take about six months to full completion. Right? So Let, let's assume you got what you're asking for. Yeah. And it took six months to build by you also sent it in. Yeah. Yes. What's your projected cash flow over the next three years? My projected cash flow, it could sound as good as I want it to sound, it could sound as bad as I want it to sound. <laughs> Let me explain why. No, you would laugh. Let me explain why. So everything I've done is tailored to cut the course down in this. Mm -hmm. I could now you allow you access to my platform on three different levels. I could call it a gold package, a silver, a platinum package. Oh. Right? You yeah, could now, I could now charge you $6,000 or $1,000 US to use my platform. So you are a big business. A 
thousand. You could charge me. I could charge you one thousand US to a month to rent this platform. We'll be right back with the investors' final decisions. There is a better way. There is a better way with JMMB Express Finance. Apply now for loans up to TT $40,000. JMMB Express Finance, in your world. As you can see at very exciting things, there is a world of creative possibilities when it comes to promoting your brand to your customers. And they sure do come in handy whether you're at the beach to catch some waves or soaking up some sweet island sun. Very exciting things has promotional items galore. So if you're looking for coverage or even more coverage, very exciting things has everything you're looking for to keep your business in mind. Whether your customers are on the go or planning their busy weekday. So take notes. Very exciting things is simply convenient. Simply exciting, simply the best. So, Posi, let me give you my feedback. Um, I think that I think you 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 clearly do understand um, the, the the business in terms of shipping, in terms of logistics. Um, it is not at a point where I can give you bank financing. Um, I think that the fact that there have been so many questions um, around it, I think further work needs to be done in terms of the business plan. I am listening to you and piecing it together. But from where I sit and what I look at, I can't see myself investing in this because I don't have enough expertise on this side of the logistics supply chain management. So I've been very upfront with you. I am not interested at this point in time. To me, there are a lot of gray areas I don't understand. Yeah. You know, because you, you keep saying, you know, you, your business is tailored in such a way and you think um, DHL isn't catered to the small man, but you don't sell me how. So I, I know, I know exactly yeah. what you're saying, but I still say that there's a lot of work, <clears throat> a lot of groundwork to be done before I am comfortable with investing. So on this score, you know, I will have to pass. Oh, see, from, from my perspective, I don't understand why you're going to a second company to develop and you have not maximized your first company. Because what does it stop you from, you know, okay, after it is you develop this platform and I invest my money in you, you then don't have another idea that you want to jump on board. You're passionate, you know the space. First of all, to do what you want to do is not going to cost you 50,000 US because building a platform is the easiest part of what you're doing. Yeah. You have a ton load of work to do to market that, to get people to subscribe to it, to get people, to get the infrastructure on board to it. And I, I don't think you're properly mapping out, both in terms of time frame and in terms of cost, how you generate a sustainable revenue stream in terms of how an investor would get a return on investment, which is what Ronald was trying to tell you that's not bankable. So the, the point about it is, is that you're onto something good. You're right in terms of the need. You're right in terms of what you said in terms of your read of the region. But you, you need to fine tune it a little bit before it becomes something that someone, will, or at least on this panel, clearly is willing to invest with you. But God bless and, and you're on the right track and I wish you all the best. And hopefully maybe, God knows, I'll see you next year. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, everybody. Thank okay. you. Thank All you. Right. Modern technology is transforming the way that we intake information about the world. feeds us with knowledge and helps us find more effective ways of managing our lives. A 
it gives us the flexibility to market our businesses in ways that we never expected and helps us connect and source the resources that we need so that we can build our economy upon a solid foundation. Stay connected with the Be Mobile Yellow Pages app so that you can relax and let technology do the heavy lifting. is a better way. There is a better way with JMMB Express Finance. Apply now for loans up to TT $40,000. JMMB Express Finance, in your world. As you can see, at Very Exciting Things, there is a world of creative possibilities when it comes to promoting your brand to your customers. And they sure do come in handy, whether you're at the beach to catch some waves or soaking up some sweet island sun, Very Exciting Things has promotional items galore. So if you're looking for coverage, or even more coverage, Very Exciting Things has everything you're looking for to keep your business in mind. Whether your customers are on the go, or planning their busy weekday. So take notes. Very Exciting Things is simply convenient. Simply exciting, simply the best. Good day, my name is June Alfred Rogers and I'm the proud founder and owner of Pinkberry Cosmetic. Because um, I was, as I was growing up as a child, I had a problem with my skin, so that was the challenge. And I dreamt of being and having my own cosmetic line to help other persons. So to aid this problem today, Pinkberry Cosmetic, we manufacture natural handcrafted soaps, we also do bath and body as well, novelty and keepsake soaps. We also have on our um, natural, we use our natural products like the natural botanical and essential oils to create these lovely products. So we are paraben and phthalates and detergent free. We also um, use our products, or persons I should say use our products to help reduce wrinkles, lines, also nourish, enhance, and also to get rid of like cirrhosis, eczemas, and ringworms. Um, Pinkberry Cosmetic at present is committed to continuous development. And in the near future, we hope someday to open our own skincare bar, which will be beneficial to everyone who will be able to use our products. So we are asking for $500,000 towards our um, product line, which will help with product development, expansion of workplace, training. We also need the money also for marketing and distribution. Thank you. Um, okay. June, um, sorry, I might have missed it, but the 500000 that you're asking for, what percent equity are you willing to give for that um, $500,000? 20%. Sorry? 20. 20. 20%? Yeah. June, how long now have you established your, your business? How uh, old is it? I started in 2016. 2016. And 16. what is your overall turnover? <coughs> um, our revenue so far is 35,953. 35,000 for what period? What year? For the first year, for the year, like from last year, July to now, July. So from July to July, you did 35,000 yes. TT dollars yes. in annual revenue, yes? yes? What is your average profit on the products? Um, our net profit so far is fifty-three percent. So, how many people are at at uh, <coughs> work at the company, and how do you produce all these wide array of products for the market? Me, myself, and I. Mm. Ah, all three of you. <laughs> and so, and how do you sell? How do you get products? How do you um, distribute? Events like um, the other day, I went to tick. I went to tick last year, and I went to tick this year. 
It was very beneficial to me. I networked with persons who were interested in my products. You know, I mean, I love the, the, the passion. And, and as you said, I mean, this comes from a personal, yeah. a personal drive and a personal mission. I think that what's critical, the fact is that you're in a very competitive market, yes, right? I That's know. an understatement. Yeah. And you have to build your value proposition. And so I think you've done great in terms of coming up with your recipes. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's a great first step. The, the next is to really figure out how do you really get this message out. And that's, I think, in terms of leveraging social media. Yes, I have that. So, um, yeah. you know, making sure that you have the right mm -hmm. partners. You're not at the point of having something that's bankable. Mm -hmm. So I can't say from a banking perspective that the business is at the point that we can lend. June is very good advice from Ronald. I mean, you need your Facebook, your Instagram, mm -hmm. all of your social media platforms. Yes, they're very cost effective. Yeah. Um, video testimonials. You see, what you, what you want to do with these sort of niche type products is make an emotional connection to the existing okay. users mm -hmm. and to reach out to potential new users and consumers of your, or, or users of your product. Okay. I just want to guide you also, be very careful in terms of making any medical claims that are not substantiated. Yes, yes, yes. You can allow people to say that it's worked for them and it's worked miracles for them and it's done yeah. that and it's done that. But yeah. you as the manufacturer, you be very careful not to yes. make any medical claims unless you actually have documented proof, yes. Yes. right? And, and as I said, I mean, I think you're doing a fantastic job and I truly want to see you succeed, Thank but you. find out what the demand is and then bit by bit expand. And that would be my humble uh, you. You know, uh, advice to you. Yeah. But, you know, kudos, well done. June, let me differ a little bit. I agree totally with you when you said in your opening remarks to us mm -hmm. that products, your products in particular, mm -hmm. are used by both men and women. And I want to ask how many men on, on this panel would admit that, yes, they like an ice cream, they like what have you. Like mm -hmm. I always say, I like to invest in people. Your passion is what drives your products. Mm -hmm. It is what makes your company who you are. Yes, you may have issues with your packaging, you would need the money and all of that, but I will tell you, as a matter of fact, I have somebody who would help you distribute your products to, to, to Trinidad and Tobago, well, who good. would very well be interested. I and cannot market. commit to the $500,000. I will get that person to distribute your products not only in Tobago, in Trinidad, and hopefully sooner rather than later, we will go up to the islands. Thank you. And June, I must say, in going forward, you need to have ideas, which you are not short of. You need to have plans. I heard your, your five ideas, but you need to have some assistance, get some mm -hmm. assistance to focus the ideas on paper okay. and structure it a little better. Now, you have a lot of products here, as, as was said, mm -hmm. Maybe too many products, mm -hmm. but too few people. Mm. I'm associated with a major hotel in Tobago, uh, not the one you mentioned just now, and I will certainly contact you through your uh, business card and set up an appointment with the hotel so you can also have displays for those guests at the Thank hotel. Thank you very much. Very good. Have a great day. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck, best wishes. Thank you. Good luck. Well, Thank nice. you. Thank you. This is a very competitive market. You have not only international skincare, soaps and other products, but you also have a lot on the local market as well. So what could be your niche? Your niche could be the tourism sector. Tourists love to come and buy something that is unique to the island that they are visiting. And it's not just our island. You have Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean, Jamaica. So what you need to do is really focus on which products can sell in the hotels, guest houses, etc., and put all your efforts there. Your product range right now is very wide, which can be very expensive for a small entrepreneur such as yourself. So what I would say, choose a couple products, something that is directly for the tourism market, focus your efforts there, and build your brand in that sector. Good luck, I bought your products, I love it.